guys, so there's some cops right here. You're doing a uh, speed trap. Well, unfortunately, I think they're doing it illegally because they need to be within 30, or they can't park within 30 feet of a stop sign, which they definitely are within 30 feet of a stop sign. For officer safety folks, you should always record the police. The statistics tell us the truth. Accidents do happen. You're absolutely going to love and appreciate this video. Definitely go subscribe to this channel and let them know I sent you. All right, here we go. Uh, so I'm going to count to them and ask them if they're okay, if everything's okay. Just to make sure everything is okay. Hey, sir, how you doing today? You doing all right? Yeah. You know, you're not supposed to be right here, right? You have to be... You have to be 30 feet away from the stop sign. That's actually very dangerous for you and all the other people around. So uh, if you want, there's a church down the street where y'all two can stay posted. So just in case anybody's being unsafe, you can pull them over. A lot of times in my area, I see police officers running red lights, speeding through traffic with no emergency lights on. And it's dangerous, folks. Keep that in mind. But right here is very unsafe. The most common deaths in police officers are being run over. And I would hate for y'all to have to experience something so dumb yeah, because of everybody you. else. So I'm just letting you know, okay. 30 feet. Okay. That's the Thank law. You. Thank you. Thank you for your concern. Oh, of course, of course. Oh, I will. You too, sir. Be safe. And I'll make sure, uh, make sure y'all are moved. Don't go anywhere, folks. Keep watching. If you think this officer was going to just get up and move, you are mistaken. He's actually going to call some backup to come and double up on the dumb. So see the bike lane here? And they're just still parked right there. Unfortunately, that is very dangerous for them and people around us. I'm glad they're doing their job and pulling over people who are speeding because this place, as you can see, is a huge straightaway. Because it's a straightaway, a lot of people like to speed. And unfortunately, it causes a lot of trouble for everyone. So these officers are doing great, except for breaking the law. Since they are breaking the law, to find people who are breaking the law, I had to call the non-emergency to let them know. See, because look at this car right here. This car has to be in the middle of the road because they are in the wrong. He's in the middle of the road because he's not 30 feet away. So now I'm gonna have to call non-emergency again. There's a church right down the street, right where this officer is turning around, where that Jeep is leaving. They can perfectly park there. So we wanna make sure everyone is safe. I'm sure he conveyed that to his partner as well because I even told him, look at Luke. He just did a U-turn, no signal, car behind him, which is also illegal. I mean, seriously, dudes. This is how they respond to citizens' concerns about officer safety, folks. Remember that next time you see the propaganda. Hey, officers. Officers. Yeah. I want y'all to be safe. Yeah. We're... No, 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 no. You're illegally parked. No, no, no. It's 30 feet after the stop sign. I know, well, why aren't you there? And I also let your partner know, there's a safe parking spot over there. If y'all go down that road, you'll still catch, you'll still catch everybody. I'm glad you're doing this because there's so many people who speed on this land. So I would rather y'all go ahead and move instead of your sergeant coming over here to tell y'all because I want y'all to be safe. Could y'all go ahead and move down the street, please? Why? Why? But that's not safe. I actually recorded another car that had to get in the middle of the street because y'all are impeding traffic. Go down the street. There's a parking lot right there. I, I want y'all to be safe. Please, the number one incident for cops being killed is being hit by cars. Do you not understand that? I want y'all to be safe, seriously. Not only are you impeding traffic, if anybody's riding there or going down the sidewalk, you're actually in front of the sidewalk. Are y'all just gonna ignore me? You said yes? Oh, okay, okay. Name and badge number, please. Name and badge number, please. Yeah, I'd be glad to give it to you, sir. If you walk over here, I'll give it to you. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not gonna be baited into jaywalking, but you can, you can stay right there and tell me your name and badge number. No, let me write it down for you. It's hard to remember. 
You don't know your name? You don't know your badge number? Yes, I'll go write it down for you so you have it. Well, don't cross the street, sir, because there's cars all around here. And unless you have a mask, I don't want you to come near me. That's awesome. Do you not have a card, sir? No, sir. no, no, don't come near me. You don't have a mask on. Put on a mask, please. Second. Put a mask on, please. Put a mask on, please. Don't come within six feet, please. Don't come within six feet, please. You're still coming within six feet and you don't have your mask on. Look how far away he is from me. Oh my gosh. Put your mask on. That's I'm all I'm right, asking. Sir, didn't you see that? Well, you should have done it over there before, when I asked. I have to step back. I was in the middle of the street when you asked. No, you weren't. You were, it's recorded. Hey, the... is your, uh, is your uh, camera on? Is your camera on, sir? It is now, sir. It is now? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Y'all should always have it on. It's for your protection and our protection. So what's the problem with y'all being safe and going down the street? Here, sir. Here's your badge numbers. You have a great day. Okay, but what's the problem with y'all going down the street and being safe instead of... Don't... Hey, 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 I'm talking to you, sir. Okay. This video was perfect. It demonstrates exactly what's happening out there. Police officers like to propagate for officer safety in order to take your rights away. And a lot of times, that's how they get away with killing someone. They were afraid for officer safety. So when this man seen an officer in a dangerous situation, and he also let the police officer know that he was violating a traffic infraction and that it was also dangerous, the officer called for backup and double down on putting people in a dangerous situation. Police officers don't care about officer safety. They care about power. That's it. And the city officials, they give it to them because they don't do anything when these police officers mess up. Is this what we're paying taxes for? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Go subscribe to this channel. I did put the information for you guys if you want to make some calls. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well and hit the bell. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. So I just want to let you all know because I have I have run across this issue before. Um, if there is any recording going on in the courtroom, that needs to be done ahead of time with my approval. So I would certainly hope that you gentlemen would not be doing that without express request of me. And that goes for video recording or audio or both? It goes for any recording. That needs to be done ahead of time. There needs to be a request made of this court by me and with my subsequent approval. So I would hope that nobody would be violating that rule. So if you are, and you haven't made that request, you need to shut your recorders off. I'm going to assume that you're recording and you never asked me. It's a uh, audio recording, not video. Understand. It's Is my understanding reason? that Is it was- reason why you didn't ask me? Because it was my understanding that I'm allowed to do so as a, a constitutional right. Really? So you read that in the Constitution? You want to tell me where it says that? Well, it, what's not forbidden is allowed. And I, there's is that, no... Is that what it is? Is it not? Really? Does Mesa, does this courthouse not allow audio recording in the courtroom? If under, under a Supreme, a very, what I call it an obscure Supreme Court rule, which I had to be educated upon, it allows recording, but if anybody's going to make, record in the courtroom, they need to make a request in advance. They need to get approval by the trial judge or the judge overhearing the case for that permission to do so. Well, where in the Constitution does it say that you don't have to do that? Well, the Constitution says we have a freedom of press, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom to assemble, and freedom to petition our government. I'm going to allow you to continue to record this proceeding just to let you know we are recording the proceeding. The proceeding is being recorded. But next time you're in court, please make sure that you ask the judge ahead of time.